Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm releasing a new version of the Neverwinter Character Builder Plus, version 0.16.4. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more information about videos about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, we're back with another version of the Neverwinter Character Builder Plus, and this time we have all of Mod 25, at least as far as I know, all of it in the uh, builder process. So let's go to the character, uh, the change tracker, uh, and here we can see all the changes as per usual. Um, so the lunar events, uh, we got some new food there, the moon cake. Uh, I added that in there. Of course, the legacy will still leave it at 5% because there is no legacy version of the mooncake. But that is now in there. Then the enchantments. Um, yeah, they changed the names of those things. So they've, in the past, they were the uh, Kobold enchantments uh, rank 5. And, and now they're called Mythic. Um, and then the name. So I uh, changed the names in the builder to uh, comply with the new names. And uh, I also added the new enchantments, as you can see here. Uh, one thing I did, which is different than what is on preview right now, um, the first version of the enchantments is actually called Common, the second one is called Uncommon, and the third one is called Epic, and so on. I made them the correct names. I also made a post in the forums, and uh, they're going to pick that up to fix this. So uh, this is how it's hopefully going to be in the future. So then we also uh, added the insignias. Uh, wait, so the new enchantments also have a little bit extra item level, as you can see, and a little bit more stats. So yeah, if you want to have the maximum item level, you will have to remake all your enchantments. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, that's part of a game progressing. Yeah, these also all change name. Uh, I don't know if I already mentioned that, but if you load a build with the old names, they will be automatically converted um, so that uh, you don't have to re uh, put your enchantments back in again. Uh, if you have any issues with that, let me know. So then, the insignias. Let's pick an insignia with a uh, universal slot. Um, there are a couple new insignias in here. Not that many, actually. We have the balance. Rhythm and Precision, and I only made them in one version, so Crescent, Balance, Illuminated Rhythm, and Enlightened Precision, because I don't know which ones of the others are available. The only ones in the store that I can see right now are those three. So if there are more in the future, I can add them as well. Uh, but yeah, um, for now I only added these. Uh, balance has Critical Avoidance and Deflection, Rhythm has... Only critical severity, there's something missing here. I need to fix that one. And precision has accuracy and critical strike. Uh, yeah, I'll fix this before I release the builder. Uh, there was, I think, outgoing healing on there or something like that. I'm not sure why that didn't pick up. Oh, maybe, yeah, I don't... Uh, I, I think I know why that is. Because insignias never have that. Um, yeah, so that's the insignias. Then we have gear. Uh, of course, every mod comes with a ton of gear, so best way to look at that is via the uh, pocket wiki, um, the gear wiki in here. Uh, I added mod 25 in here, so if we go to mod 25, you can see all the new gear in here. So uh, everything that was added, uh, except for artifacts, of course, so this is all the, the regular gear. Uh, and if you want, if you don't have preview or uh, you're on console, or for whatever reason you don't want to go into preview, you can actually just look into all of the gear here. If you only want to see that for your class, for example, if you're a ranger, this is the gear that you're going to have uh, uh, newly available to you, so you can see if you want anything of that. I made some fixes in here. I think the class filter didn't work in the past. I added the bard in here, I added mod 25, and I removed, I think, Armor penetration and power was still here, which is not on the gear, of course. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through the gear. The gear is all item level 2000 plus, so a very, very high item level gear. So feel free to go through that uh, by yourself. 
Uh, yeah, then the fixes that I made, the BART, uh, I didn't have that in here for a while. Uh, BART exists already for uh, two years or something like that, quite long. Uh, class filters, as I said, they didn't work. Uh, this I removed, I already said that. Then Cradle of the Death God is now uh, detected in the combat log analyzer. So if you load some Cradle of the Death God data, let me see if I can find it. Ah, here I have some data of some runs um, that didn't go so well, but you can see that it's automatically detected and split into phases. I am no, yeah, I think I have four phases max, and maybe I could add a fifth one. Um, but uh, let me see how that works out. I think it's I think it's already fine. Um, but yeah, like this, you can also detect uh, Cradle of the Death God. And um, yeah, it's it's not in these um, in the change log, but the new trial actually also is already um, detected and parsed in the combo log analyzer. So as soon as it's available on preview or on live, you'll be able to uh, automatically split it into phases. That's gonna be an interesting one. Of course, I cannot say much about new trial. Uh, and then I also added, because some people have difficulties getting errors in Game Connect, for some reason, uh, sometimes parsing goes wrong and then everything stops. Uh, I parse three different uh, uh, logs from the game. And here you can disable logging of certain uh, logs. And then if you are um, connecting to the game, then you it will say that it's ignoring certain logs and it will not find anything. And if you enable it, it will actually start parsing the data so and this this might help uh, figuring out which part of the game connect logic is having an issue uh, because it's really weird that some people have issues some people don't i'm not sure what to make of that uh, but yeah maybe this will help okay um, i think we got through it all already so um so if you want to uh, use this character build, of course, as per usual, you can download it for free on my Patreon. Uh, you don't have to be a patron to, to download it. It's completely free of charge. If you do want to support me on Patreon, that's of course very appreciated. But um, again, you don't have to. So that's going to be it for the video. Uh, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.